Hello friends, so this is the seventh question related to maximum power transfer theorem. So again we have this circuit here uh, which is a typical bridge circuit and uh, we have been asked to find the value of this resistor R such that maximum power is transferred to it. So as usual we have to use the Thevenin equivalent circuit approach. Uh, we have to apply Thevenin's theorem to find VTH and RTH. So, first we'll open circuit this and find VTH. Okay, so we redraw the circuit. This is plus minus. This is eighty kilo ohm and this is 20 kilo ohm okay and uh, here this is ninety kilo ohm and this is ten kilo ohm and this is open circuited VTH this is 100 volt now what we have to do is that we have to find the currents flowing through this resistors now if you notice here a current I will start from here and will get divided at this point and let that current be I1 flowing through 80 kilo ohm and 20 kilo ohm and I2 flowing through 10 kilo ohm and 90 kilo ohm because this is open circuited no current will flow through these points. <laughs> 0 ampere. So, we will apply KVL in these two closed paths. So, the polarity will be like this. Here it is plus minus and here also it is plus minus. So, first we will apply KVL here in this path. So, it will be 100 minus 80 I 1 minus 80 I 1 minus 20 I 1 is equal to 0 that implies 100 minus 100 I 1 is equal to 0 that implies I 1 is equal to 1 ampere 100 by 100 1 ampere. So, this is the first important equation value we got. Next we will apply KVL in this closed path. Again starting 100 minus 10 I 2 minus 10 I 2 minus 90 I 2 minus 90 I 2 is equal to 0. That implies 100 minus 100 I 2 is equal to 0. That implies here also I2 is equal to 1 ampere. I1 is equal to 1 ampere, I2 is equal to 1 ampere. Now, to find VTH, we will apply KVL in this direction like this starting from here through this 20 kilo ohm resistor, again through this 90 kilo ohm resistor, and back. Okay, follow VTH like this, like this, we will apply KVL. So, that KVL equation will be. VTH minus 20I1 plus 90I2. See, here the direction of KVL is from plus to minus. So, that is why I wrote it 20I1. But here 
the direction of this KVL is from minus to plus as per the voltage polarity minus to plus so that's why it is plus 90 I2 so I've already discussed about voltage polarities in a resistor how to apply KVL in different ways in the previous videos uh, I think in the first few videos I have discussed so please check uh, check those videos if you have any doubt okay so it is VTH minus 20 I1 plus 90 I2 is equal to 0 that implies VTH minus 20 into 1 plus 90 into 1 is equal to 0 that implies VTH is equal to minus 90 plus 20 which is equal to minus 70 volt so VTH we have got equals to minus 70 volt so we have got VTH now we have to find RTH okay so VTH is equal to minus 70 volt so we have already found out VTH is equal to minus 70 volt now we have to find RTH so for that we have to deactivate the independent sources so on this circuit we have only this 100 volt independent voltage source so we will short circuit that so by doing that the circuit will become like this okay uh, just redraw the circuit this is short circuited this is 80 kilo ohm this is 20 kilo ohm this is 10 kilo ohm and this is 90 kilo ohm. and this is like this now this circuit uh, here this is actually something like this if you notice this is something like this to make it simpler we can draw it like this this is 10 kilo ohm this is 90 kilo ohm like this RTH 80 kilo ohm and 20 kilo ohm in parallel 10 kilo ohm and 90 kilo ohm in parallel the resultant the both resistors equivalent it is in series so RTH is basically this this whole circuit can be converted and redrawn in this form so now it becomes simpler RTH is equal to 80 parallel 20 plus 10 parallel 90 which is equal to 80 into 20 by 80 plus 20 which is plus uh, 10 into 90 by 10 plus 90 which is equal to this is 1600 by 100 which is 16 16 kilo ohm plus this is 900 by 100 which is 9 kilo ohm okay this is 1600 by 100 this is 900 by 100 so this is 25 kilo ohm. RTH is equal to 25 kilo ohm. so we have got both VTH and RTH now as per the statement of maximum power transfer theorem for maximum power to be transferred to any particular resistor in a circuit the value of that resistor should be equal to the Thevenin resistance so here the Thevenin resistance it is minus 70 volt VTH and here it is RTH is equal to 25 kilo ohm so the value of R should be equal to RTH which is equal to 25 kilo ohm 
and the maximum power that can be transferred to this resistor R P R max is equal to V T H square by 4 R T H. This also we have derived. So this is minus 70 square by 4 into 25 kilo ohm which is 4900 divided by 100 which is around 49 milliwatts why because it is in kilo ohm okay it is in kilo ohm so 49 milliwatts so pr max is equal to 49 milliwatts okay yes so this is the seventh question related to maximum power transfer theorem which we have discussed